In this video, we introduce Newton's third law, and give many examples to better understand its meaning. Please subscribe us to be informed about our new videos, please see the video to the end to understand all its concepts. Newton's third law. Whenever one object exerts a force on another, the second object exerts the same force but in the opposite direction. We call the first force the action force and the second force the reaction force. Note that there is always a force of action and reaction together. That means we always have a pair of forces. Here the mechanical arm applies force to the box. We call this force the force of action and show it in blue. The box also exerts the same amount of force but in the opposite direction, on the mechanical arm. We call this force the reaction force and we show it in red. The mechanical arm gradually increases the force of the action. So the box also increases the size of the reaction force. Until the object begins to move. The mechanical arm then reduces the force. So the box also reduces the amount of force until both are zero. Important note. Some people may think that the force of action and its reaction can cancel each other. But this is wrong, because two forces can cancel each other out when they act one object. But the forces of action and reaction are applied to two different objects. In figure A, forces can cancel each other. This is because two equal forces are applied to the same object in the opposite direction, so they cancel each other. Now consider figure B. Force 1 is applied to body 1, but force 2 is applied to body 2, so these two forces cannot cancel each other. Example A motorboat is moving on the water. What force causes the motorboat to move? Answer The impeller applies a force of F to the water. This is the force of action, according to Newton's third law, water enters the force of F, into the impeller. This is the force of reaction. So the reaction force causes the boat to move. Example The car starts moving. What force causes the car to move? Answer. The car tire exerts a force of F on the ground. This is the force of action. According to Newton's third law, the earth exerts a force of F on the car. This is the force of reaction. And this force causes the car to move. Note that it is the frictional force that causes the car to move. Example A man stands on a chariot, and pushes it. Does the chariot move? Answer The man apply a force on the chariot, and the chariot apply a force on the man, and the chariot does not move. This is because the man applies the same amount of force to the chariot with his foot, so the forces applied to the chariot cancel each other out and the chariot does not move. We can express the answer in a better way. We can use the following tip. This is an important point. Tip. Connected objects can be considered as one object. Therefore, because man and chariot are fixed to each other, we consider them as one object. Because all forces are applied to one object, they cancel each other out, and the chariot does not move. Example If a man is on the road and pushes the chariot, why does the chariot move? Answer Man wants to apply force F to the chariot. So with his foot, 
he applies force F to the ground. According to Newton's third law, the Earth also exerts an F force on a man. Because the frictional force that prevents the chariot from moving is not high, so the chariot moves. We can use the point of connected objects that we mentioned earlier. Because the man and the chariot move together, we can consider them as one object. These two forces are applied to the interconnected set. Because they are the same size and opposite direction, so they cancel each other out. This force is applied to the ground, that is, it is not applied to the connected set. So it is only the net force that enters the connected set, so it moves. Maybe this explanation is a little complicated, and you did not understand. Do not worry, in the next example, we will explain this concept more. When Newton introduced the third law, he had many opponents. One of the examples given by these opponents, was the following example. Example. If the horse exerts an F force on the chariot, then the chariot exerts the same force F in the opposite direction, so the chariot should not move, but we know that the chariot moves. It may come as a surprise to you, that they have been able to find the answer to this question for so long. What was the answer? The horse exerts a force on the chariot. The chariot exerts the same force on the horse, but the horse's foot exerts an F force on the ground, so the ground exerts an F force on the horse, and this force causes the horse and chariot set to move. The main force is friction. In fact, if the ground is slippery, the horse may not be able to move the chariot. We can use the point of connected objects that we mentioned earlier. Because the horse and the chariot move together, we can consider them as one object. These two forces are applied to the interconnected set. Because they are the same size and opposite direction, so they cancel each other out. This force is applied to the ground, that is, it is not applied to the connected set. So it is only the net force that enters the connected set, so it moves. Now we want to examine the force of action and reaction more. Example There is a book on the table. Specify all the forces of action and reaction which is applied to the book. Answer Two forces enter the book. 1. Force that the table surface exerts on the book. According to Newton's third law, its reaction enters the surface of the table. 2. The force of gravity exerted by the whole earth, so according to Newton's third law, the reaction of this force is applied to the whole earth. Example. A lamp hangs from the ceiling of a room. Specify all the forces of action and reaction which is applied to the lamp. Answer. Two forces are applied to the lamp. 1. The force that applied to the lamp from the wire. According to Newton's third law, its reaction is applied to the wire from the lamp. 2. The force of weight that is applied to the lamp from the ground then its reaction is applied to the whole earth, that is, its center. The next example is more complicated than the others. It is better if you did not learn the previous examples well, learn the previous examples well first. Example A man pulls the body, specify all the forces of action and reaction which is applied to the body. Answer Four forces are applied to the body. 1. The force that man applied on the body, the reaction of this force, is exerted by the body on the man. 2. 
the force of weight that is applied to the body from the ground. Reaction of this force applied the earth from the body. 3. The vertical force that the surface applied on the body. Its reaction applied the surface from the body. 4. The force of friction applied the body from the surface. Its reaction then applied the surface from the body. So far, we have introduced the three basic laws of mechanics, Newton's laws. In the next section, we first examine the resultant vector, which is very important in solving problems, then we learn how to apply these rules, and how to solve complex problems. Please subscribe us to be informed about our new videos,